My name is Dan Ballard. I'm a pro travel and landscape photographer. We're here in Peru for about five weeks. Just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the kit that I use. I spend most of my time on the road. I'm always backpacking, I'm always hiking. I'm always going up, you know, steep cliffs and edges and, you know, just having super small, um, lightweight gear, it's so critical to me, it's so important. So finally, um, I've kind of narrowed it down and I've got my kit just how I want it to where it's very light, very small, uh, yet still just almost perfect in terms of usability. A big part of the reason uh, that I'm able to do that now is um, the Sony a7R 3 it's not necessarily just about the camera though, it's kind of about the entire setup. Um, the Sony bodies are much smaller, um, they're quite a bit lighter as well, especially whenever you're talking about two bodies, you know, the main body and a backup body. Um, but for me, it's really about the entire kit. So what I use is um, basically a two lens setup. Um, I use a Sony 12-24 um, and a Sony 85 1.8. And those are the only two lenses that I have, the only two lenses that I own. Uh, very, very small, very, very light setup. So basically what I have is I have this back button, this C3 button. All I have to do is press it and it goes automatically to 1.5 crop mode. So whenever I'm at 24, I'm at 36. Um, my 85, whenever I hit C3, goes from 85 millimeters to 127 millimeters. So I really have a lot of range here. I have, you know, 12 basically to 100, 127. Now, yes, I do have that middle range missing. I have 36 to 85 that's missing. Um, that really doesn't bother me. Anytime I need something a little wider than 85, uh, it's so easy for me to just go vertical and shoot a little pano. So I've been shooting with a 16 to 35 millimeter and a 70 to 200 millimeter for years and years. Pretty much everything that I've shot in the last, you know, 10, 12 years has been with one of those two lenses. Uh, so this setup is really pretty similar. Um, just a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more minimalistic, but really the same kind of idea. So the next thing that I want to talk to you guys a little bit about is the tripod setup. One of the biggest differences now in my overall kit is basically just going to this really right stuff travel tripod. Um, this is there, I believe it's the TFC 14. And I mean, this thing, it, it's amazing how small this thing is. I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera or not, but I mean, it, it's tiny. Um, it actually extends really quite high. Um, you can see that, I mean, it's just a, it just gets me up off the ground. This will fit in any suitcase and a backpack. Take the head off, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a foot long. The other thing that I really like about this setup is my ability to use filters with it. So, um, one of the things that people often talk about with lens like this is you have to have this big bulky filter system that goes on the outside, it covers up the whole thing, and again, that's just something else that you have to travel with, you have to pack, you have to have a bigger bag to hold all of that. Basically what I've done with my filter setup to keep things very small and light, just taking my you know normal basic filters, you know, just circular, just ND filters, I'm pretty sure that these are 72s. Um, I'll double check that and put it in the video there. And basically what I've done is I've just taken and screwed a step up ring on it. So just take any you know, normal step up ring to go from a smaller lens size to a bigger one. I've done that basically just to give me a little bit of extra width, a little extra size. And then I've basically just taken um, some just Gorilla Tape and I've just taped, I put two layers of tape around the filter. So it's basically around the filter and the step up ring. And then I basically have just kind of this nice thick um, kind of setup here and it literally fits right in the front element of the lens just perfectly. I mean, it goes in there super nice, it's super snug. Um, it doesn't fall out. I don't have to worry about that at all. And I've used this a ton. I mean, it's just, man, I'm just, I feel 100% safe that it's not going to come out. You really have to pull it to get it out of there. I mean, it works perfectly and this is great. Now, I can't go all the way to 12 millimeters. Um, I can only go to about 16 or so um, until I start getting some, some vignetting around the edges. But really, that's, that's fine. I mean, uh, normally, you know, I would have gone with probably the 16 to 35 millimeter lens anyways, just so I could have screw-in filters. So, just absolutely loving this kit overall. Now, I know it's not going to be for everybody. Um, so many people are going to want to go with the 16 to 35 and the 7200. Um, that's a really, really great, you know, lens arrangement. 
but for so many people in so many situations, um, say that you're into hiking, you're into backpacking, you know, again, every single ounce matters, uh, every bit of weight, every bit of space, say that you're traveling. You know, I have so many clients that contact me and say, you know, Dan, I'm, I'm going to, you know, to Europe, I'm going with my family, is that gonna be a full on photo trip? You know, what do you recommend? Um, this kind of kit is so perfect for that. Again, you're not really making any compromises here. Uh, before this type of setup, I, I couldn't really say that. I didn't really know what to tell people to take. Um, but now with this exact kit, with the C3 button uh, going to crop mode, that just makes all the difference in the world.